This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is Julian and Tobias's incredible three-lobe challenge lock. What they did was take three Euro profile cylinders and cut the bottom two-thirds off of each one. They then arranged them into this tri-lobe pattern and encased the entire assembly in this green acrylic. A different set of challenge pins was put into each of the three Bibles, so we need to pick this three times to defeat this challenge lock. I do have a key for it, and the entire thing works very, very nicely. Now the first time I picked this, when I first got it, it took me probably about 40 minutes to make the complete circle. And then I looked at the key and I realized I was not using nearly enough pick for that number five pin. So I swapped out my number seven hook for this much deeper number five hook and the lock became a lot easier. So what we are going to do is try to pick this the full 360 degrees and then the real challenge starts as I try to take this thing apart and show you what's inside. So let's get some top of the keyway tension in here and we will get to picking. I'm gonna start off with this standard hook in 18 thousandths and well, let's get to work. One is loose, two is loose, three is loose, four, got a little bit of a click out of him and five. Going back, let's see, one, getting some movement out of him. Okay, got a click out of one. Nothing on two, three, four. Got a little bit out of him. Nothing on five. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two. Okay, three's our binder now. Got a click there. Another one. Okay, we got a nice deep false set. Nothing on four. Five is our binder, and we're gonna to need to switch to a different pick for him. Going back to this deep five hook. And let's see if we can set number five. Getting lots of counter rotation on him. Okay, and it looks like we picked the first one. Now as we turn, you can see the driver pins from number three fell into the bottom of the keyway, so let's address that and now we're ready to pick number two okay number one got a little click out of him nothing on two three four okay five is definitely binding let's get our deep hook so we can address him I think we set number five. Switch picks again. Okay, number one is binding now. Hmm, I'm getting some counter rotation on him, but there we go. I think I got one set. Two, three, four, and I can't tell if we if we need to go back and address five again. I'm looking at number one and I don't see the the key pin coming down. I might have overset number one. So I just let him fall back down. Okay, I think we're good on number one now. Number two, got a little click there. Nothing on three, four. Okay, five has definitely dropped back down, so we need to address him again. Okay, we got five set, I think. And let's see, I can't tell if number one needs more attention, so let's come back to him later. Two is definitely binding, got a couple clicks there. Got a click out of three. Four. We're in a really deep false set now. Okay, it's definitely number one. Yep, we need another click out of number one right now. 
getting lots of counter rotation on him. Mm, but he is not setting. Okay. I think I got number one. But we have completely lost our false set. There we go. I think we got number one. Two drop down. Let's see. Three as well. Four. Okay, looks like we picked number two. And now we are on to number three. One's loose. Two is loose. Three is loose. Four is loose. Okay, looks like our binder's five. So we're swapping back over to this deep hook. I think we've set number five. Number one, got a little click out of him. Nothing on two, three, four. I think we might need a little bit more out of one. Okay. Now two. Three gave us a couple clicks there. Nothing on four or five. Back to one, got a little more movement on the core. Nothing on two. Three, four, and it looks like, yep, we got it open. Okay, so there we have it, the full 360 degrees. Now the real challenge starts. Let's try to take this guy apart. Okay, let's see. We've got a clip on the back here. Okay, now let's get our key. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna use the core as my follower. I don't know how well that's gonna work. But let me get let me get a pen and write these down. Okay, this is one, three, and two. That should help me keep track of that. Okay. Let's, uh, geez, let's get started. Okay, I'm starting out with the number one first driver pin, or number five driver pin, I should say. Okay, that appears to be a nice deep spool. Okay, so that will go right there. Let's get that spring out. Then keep turning, and I think we'll get the number two driver pin. Okay, number two, that's another I guess a double spool or a barrel pin of some kind. Get that spring out of there, and then let's move on to number three. Okay, that looks like, wow, that's a really cool little ringed spool. Uh, very similar to what you see on some of the DOM pins, or DOM locks. Let's get that spring out of there and see if any key pins will come out now. Looks like the number one key pin. That's a nice little torpedo pin. Okay, I think it's time to move on to our next one. Let's see. Let's get the number three, four pin. That appears to be a two-piece design. And... 
That spring is not coming out. Hopefully it won't give us too much trouble. Okay, now we have the number four pin for two. And that appears to be a standard. Okay, that's interesting. And will that spring come out? Oh, just lost our key pin for number two. And now we need the number, oops. I'm sorry, this is number one. Now let's get number two. Okay, looks like a little modified standard. And the spring is coming out. Okay, number three. Let's see, I guess we'll get number two first. Okay, this is not coming out, which means something dropped into one of the channels. Let's see if we can fix that just by turning. Yep, it looks like the number three driver pin dropped into the channel. That is a multi-piece design. Three, three, three. There we go. Let's see if we can get that spring out. Okay, let's get the number two. Oh, looks like we're about to drop another key pin. Okay. This one looks like a commercial spool. And get that spring out. Now we need the number one driver pin in slot three. And this is a homemade serrated. Okay, on to the next one, and I think we can take out our number four key pin now. That is another torpedo pin. Uh-oh, I'm not sure what I just did. I think this one came from over there. I'll have to watch the video later to confirm that. Okay, let's see. The number two pin is a standard in slot one. The number two pin in Bible number two is looks like a homemade serrated. And in slot number three, slot number three, I can't get it out because I seem to have accidentally locked the lock up. Let's see if I can address that now. There we go. Okay, number three, slot two is an ASA new style spool. Okay, down to the final chamber. And there we go. Let's get the number five key pin out. Homemade serrated. Then we have the, uh-oh, where did that go? This is from Bible number three, another really cool homemade serrated pin. Okay, from Bible number two. Looks like a standard pin. Oh no, that's not standard, that is 
Oh, maybe we have a drunken spool there. Okay, and now from Bible number one, looks like a, a normal spool, commercial spool. Okay, wow, what a beast that was to, to take apart. It doesn't look like we have any threading in any of the chambers, at least I can't see any. And same thing for this core. Okay, let me give you a close-up of all of this. Wow. Okay, looking at these key pins, looks like I think they're all homemade. I don't know about number four. That might be a commercial pin. Maybe number five as well, but all security pins, some torpedo pins, some serrated pins. Um, I mean, this is just a great combination of pins all around here. Then in Bible number one, looks like that was our, our easiest one, and that is two standard pins in slots two and four, two commercial spools in slots one and five, and a homemade serrated in slot three. Then in number two, we have this drunken spool over here, a homemade serrated, a standard commercially available pin. This looks like just a modified standard with a narrow end, and then this double spool here. And then in the third Bible, we get the real big guns here. We have this ringed spool right here. We have a two-part pin in pin in number four, another two-part pin in number three, an Asa spool, and a homemade serrated. Moving over to this core, there really isn't anything unusual about it. Maybe there's a little bit of counter milling in number two. It's kind of hard to tell. I think there's something there. But it's certainly not very pronounced, and I don't think I felt that much. In any case, Julian, Tobias, what an incredible job you did on this lock. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work on this. And... Uh, and wow, this is going to be a beast putting back together. Okay, that's it for now. Again, thank you to Julian and Tobias. And to everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.